Hello, and I'm breaking here with 5 reasons why the LEGO Technic CAD D11 Bulldozer is better than the Lieber 9800 Excavator. After seeing the reviews for the Bulldozer, I think I have a pretty good idea of what the Bulldozer is all about. Without any further ado, let's begin. At number 5 we have the gearbox. At the core of LEGO Technic are mechanisms. The new bulldozer seems to be a representation of what LEGO Technic is all about. The gearbox allows the bulldozer to control four different functions using just one motor, not including the driving. This bulldozer has way more advanced mechanisms, like the gearbox, that make it the perfect successor to the original motorized bulldozer of 2007. The new one adds so many functions on top of the original one, such as the gearbox, blade, tilt, the deployable ladder, track tensioning, and more. The new bulldozer is basically only an upgrade from the original one and not a downgrade. The story is completely different with the two remotely controlled excavators. The Lieber 9800 was clearly a successor to the 2010 model, but it lacked so many core functions that the original one had. The 8043 motorized excavator had a gearbox, a clever mechanism in which two independent axles would pass through the center of a turntable, and so many more. The new excavator sadly got rid of all of these advanced mechanisms, including the amazing gearbox, which made it a significant and downgrade from the original model. If you love LEGO Technic as much as I do, and you want to uncover all its secrets, like which motors and gears are the rarest, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. But no pressure, no pressure. Next up we have the tracks. The new tracks are wider, have grip wedges, and come in yellow. Just like the 2007 bulldozer, the CAD D11 also introduces a brand new track system. These tracks are clearly much better than the ones that came in the excavator, since they're far more likely to perform better in off-road situations. Since they're wider, they also allow you to create bigger and better mocks, instead of having to pair two sets of tracks together. These tracks allow for more flexibility in your own creations. Personally, I really like the way these tracks look, and I hope that these ones also become available in grey later down the road. Speaking of tracks, let's talk about number 3. This mechanism makes the chassis miles better than the one we had in the excavator. The excavator could be used in off-road situations, but being able to manually adjust the track tensioning based on the terrain will make off-roading a lot less sticky. Personally, I really wish that track tensioning was a motorized function in this set. Perhaps I can modify the bulldozer so that, instead of powering the deployable ladder, the fourth function adjusts the track tensioning. <laughs> Next up we have the planetary wheel hubs. These tiny devices provide a gear ratio of 1 to about 5.5. The LEGO Technic Lieber 9800 had gear reduction through a set of gears, and to minimize the risk of the gears cracking, there were pairs of linear clutches on either side. Since the planetary wheel hubs allow a much more compact and stronger gear reduction, there is no risk of gear cracking. Thus, there is no need for the linear clutches, and that makes the driving way better. The planetary wheel hubs are wonderful pieces. Finally, the V12 engine is the last reason for why the CAD D11 bulldozer is better than the excavator. Even if the set had 7 motors controlling each function independently like the excavator, the bulldozer would have still had better mechanisms. The bulldozer includes an amazing V12 engine, and on top of that, it actually gets power from either side because it uses a differential. This is a massive improvement over the 2007 model, since that one simply had the engine connected only to the right side. Since there was no proportional control at the time, that meant that both motors would always receive full power. The engine caused little more friction for the right motor, and so the motor would have a tendency to go right. I really wish that the excavator also had a similar feature, especially since there is a lot of empty space in the superstructure for the fake engine. The excavator does have one main advantage over the bulldozer, which is the price. They do cost the exact same amount of $450, but the excavator does offer slightly more pieces and three more motors as well as an extra hub. So if you just want the greatest amount of electronics and pieces, then go with the excavator. However, if you prefer more complex mechanisms like me, then the bulldozer is the better choice, especially if you can get the bulldozer on sale for less than $400. If you would like to learn more about the bulldozer, like its track tensioning, the gearbox, and more, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbreak Me Here, and I'll see you in the next one.